Hey everyone and welcome to another DaVinci Resolve video. Today I will show you how to make a lower third in the edit page just like this one here. As you can see this is more complicated than what you can get in the edit page by default like just using the opacity slider and so on. So without further ado let's get started. Go to the effect, grab a title, drop it here and then go to generator and grab a solid background. Click on the solid color and go to generator change the color to whatever color you think will fit your edit change the text to whatever you want and of course if you want to add a drop shadow scroll down and you'll find the option to add a drop shadow if you want to know more about text i already made a couple of videos about the subject i'll leave it in the card to the right or in the description under the video to add the shadow i'll just use the offset to move it a little bit away so for now this is too big so i want to like crop my background so it's more fitting so it's just around my text so what we will do we go to the solid and if I go to settings there is cropping we can use this slider here to get to the size but what I like to do is if you go down here there is crop and it will turn on an interactive tool for cropping so I'll just grab these handles and make it maybe this big and now I need to start animating the problem is if I start animating now I go back to transform if I move the text it will just move under my box and it will be visible and the way to make it so that once we move it away from the box we need to have a mask and the way to make a mask in the edit page I will use this box or this rectangle under the text I will duplicate it and use it as my mask I'll move this up and then I'll just duplicate this one hold alt and drag up it will give you a duplicate actually what I will do I'll move it again the text and the box underneath it one step above like one track above and I'll duplicate the box again because this will be like this one under the text will be the mask for my text and these two down here one of them will be the actual box and the one underneath it will be the mask of the box because again if I wanted to move the box and make it so that it disappear if it moves anywhere away from that mask it will just disappear let's start working with the first two layers if I hide those two just for now what we need to do is select the text and go to settings and scroll down until you reach composite open the composite go all the way down until you reach the last five options down here in this case I want my text to be foreground and if I go to the solid I'll scroll again down and I'll select alpha alpha is simply a mask and that's what happened you can see it because once we switch it to alpha DaVinci understand that this track is no more or this shape in this case this shape is just an alpha I don't need to show it to the viewer it's just an alpha we'll do the same thing down here same thing the one on the top will be my foreground and the one on the bottom will be my alpha the reason is why I needed to make two boxes like two alphas is because this effect only work with two tracks like it need to be directly on top of it so I can't have like only one mask or one alpha and like have multiple tracks on top of it the only track that will be affected by it is the one that's on top of it directly as long as it's set to foreground so now if I just for illustration if I hide it those two now if I select my text and I move it it just disappear if I move it away from that rectangle which is now hidden same thing if I hide those and show the boxes the box and its alpha select the box if I move it it will disappear and it's not disappearing really it's just like we're moving it away from a, the visible portion which is the mask now the last thing we need to do is to start animating the text so what I would do is go to settings go to transform or you can also use the options down here both of them will work just the same and let's just add a keyframe to the position so we'll move I want to start from this point and maybe in like right about here in my animation so I'll add another keyframe because I, this is my final position but I want it to be invisible at the beginning so I'll just click on it and move it down I hold shift so that I'm locking it to only the Y axis because I'm moving it down now we need to do the same thing but this time we will do it for the box just move a couple of frames 
I'll add the keyframe. Just make sure that you're selecting the box, not the mask. By the way, you can animate the mask, but in this case, I'm gonna animate the box or the rectangle. Add a keyframe, go to the beginning, add another keyframe, and when you add this keyframe, just move uh, this box down until it's invisible. So now if I press spacebar to play, as you can see, I wanna turn on also the text. So there it goes. The thing is I don't like how it animate because it's very linear, like both of them almost animate at the same time. So what I will do is I'll move this couple of frame off. So it's delayed from the box. So the box start animating then the text. And now because we did this, I need to extend the two layers at the bottom or two tracks at the bottom, so I'll extend them. Finally, I wanna move this lower third card to its position. And to do that, it will be a little bit difficult to select everything and move it together. So the best way to do that is I will select all of these tracks, right click, new compound clip, create. Now we have one compound clip that contains everything. And if I move the compound clip itself, we can position it where I want, we can also change its size if I feel this is too big. Don't change it bigger because this will start degrading the quality and I can add a fade out if I want to. So that's how you make a lower third in the edit page without going to the fusion page. Hope you liked it. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and hit the notification bell and see you in another one.